Right, welcome back to Let's Play Super Metroid. We are at the wreck ship. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, one main thing to do here, I'm not 100% not sure where the, the entrance to this thing is, but there's one place you want to go to before we fight the boss. Is it here, I think? No. Here. Here we go. Because these spikes don't hurt you when the energy is off. So if you don't turn the energy back on and get this first, then you don't have to potentially die. Because then, then the spikes that fall down do your whole energy tank's worth of damage. You don't want that. Alright, continue downwards. You want to go to this one on the left here? Now, the, to the left is the map, but you can't actually access the map until after you've defeated the boss, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm not even sure if I'll defeat the boss on three energy tanks, you know. This is probably one of the most annoying bosses, to me at least. Um, how do you, don't know how you pronounce the name, Fantoon or something like that? If you shoot the little blue fiery things, you shoots out, you should get some some energy, and I'm gonna need it. Now you wanna wait till he opens his eye, and don't use super, uh, super missiles, whatever you do. And actually hit him would be nice. If you use super missiles, it goes into this different attack which is pretty much impossible to avoid I've found. I don't know, maybe you can just maybe you can if you're good at the game or something. I mean I like to think I'm pretty good at the game. Yeah, so you might need to make sure you get as many energy drops as you can from these. Because he's not an easy boss by any means. It takes quite a long time to beat him as well, because it keeps doing this thing where you, you can't attack him all the time because his eyes closed. This is a pain in in the behind. Got him. I mean, I hit him. I didn't beat him or anything. Just to clarify. Oh, this is so boring, this boss. I mean, it's hard, but it's just boring to do. You sit here shooting, waiting for him to open his eye. Come on. <sighs> you might fast forward some of this, you know. Not release. Really not really talking about anything because I haven't really got anything to say about this. 
apart from how boring and long it takes. Finally we got him. Actually it didn't take half as much energy as I, as I thought it would. Once it's down all the all the lights and stuff come back on and now we can actually go and get the map. And these things are alive and walking around now. I didn't even see that one. It was hiding. So now we can get the map. And there's a few more hidden areas there that don't show up on the map. But we'll find them. Ow. <coughs> Excuse my annoying cough. And here we have a super missile. And after we finish this area, we'll have the gravity suit, and we'll go ahead and get some stuff and back up in Brinstar. Um, what is in here? I think it's the place with water. You, you want the gravity suit, gravity suit before you go in there. Save room to the right if you need it. I don't, so I'll just be going past it. We checked up there, didn't we? I know there's more places you can bomb to the side here. Get up there. I'm just going to go ahead and check all of them because I don't remember which ones actually are hidden here. I'm certain there's at least one more here. At least I thought there was. Hmm. Right, up here you, wanna, you won't be able to get out of any of the doors until you've destroyed all these monsters. So go ahead and do that. Then you want to actually go ahead and open all the three doors again. Because if you go out and come back in, you'll only be able to open the one door you opened before. So if you open all three of them, that means you can open all of the doors. If you go out and come back in, all the doors will be open again. Now send these guys into the so little gaps here. Watch out for the electric falling from the sky or falling out of the wires or whatever. And we have another missile upgrade. So now we've done that, we just go past all these guys. See, if I didn't open that door before, I'd have to kill all the monsters to get through here, but now since we opened all three of them, we can get in. Right, here's a very easy missile upgrade to miss. So, so you don't miss it, I'll show you where it is. I'm sure anyone who who loves this game would know with know this already, but in case you don't, keep popping up on these things. And there's a missile grade in this wall here. 
Can sometimes be tricky to get. Because it does this. Oh, just about. Now we've got that, we can go down here. You need a super missile to, to get through there. And there's another missile upgrade here. That's the one I, I miss quite a lot, actually. Now, if you go down, you'll just end up having to come back up here to to get the gravity suit anyway, so you want to just come back here. And not there. You nearly messed that up. You're going to get back up here. And go through this right hand side bit here. Get rid of that guy. And come through the door here. <coughs> There's plenty of... Uh, one hit kill monsters here if you wanted to get some energy. Now we're going to want to use the grappling beam here. You want to roll up into a into a morph ball on this Chozo statue, and it's gonna carry you downwards. <laughs> no, he's not gonna play bowling with you, <laughs> even though it does look like it looks like he'd be good at bowling though. Looks like he's got a good arm for it. Also gets rid of some other spikes. I'm not sure how useful that is. I don't think you even have to come back here, so not really useful at all, really. Before we go through that door, come down here. Well, these guys, you want to get them to fall in this pit here. Get the missile upgrade. And before you go, you want a power bomb here. And there's this little gap here. Now you wanna do you wanna do even is not do it. what you wanna do even is not that. Not that at all. All that. Just trying to speed boost up here. All that. I'm failing so hard. Right, get up here, jump that middle gap, otherwise you fall down, and then get a reserve tank. And then get back down. And guess what's through this door here? It's only the gravity suit. <laughs> right, we get thrown out here, which is where we started. So now I'm actually gonna go and get this. So we could have got this earlier, but it's just easier to get when you've got the gravity suit. And actually, I'm going to go up here and maybe leave the recording there. So, I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.